Hello friends, welcome to jwreasoning.com. I'm recording this video for November 5th, 2023. I'm not going to be doing a review of the Watchtower today. Paragraph 7, if you look at it, once again, they're promoting themselves. And this is what the Watchtower seems to do very often, almost every single week it seems they do that. I uh, ran out of time this week. I want to apologize for not being able to do the review. Many of you who watch this uh, particular channel on a regular basis have probably seen some ways that you can pick out things and, and be a critical thinker and look at these things very carefully. But what I wanted to do just for a moment is just give you a little update on what's going on with me. Uh, the lady that we're taking care of is doing okay. Uh, she is in hospice, but not end-of-life hospice. So her health is actually improving a little bit. She's more cognizant than she was before, and I'm grateful for that. I want to thank you all for praying for her. And I'm going to ask you that you will continue to pray for her. Also, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the person who was taking care of uh, my websites, um, she, she died a couple of months ago. And I grew up with her, a uh, very good friend, good friend of my wife. Uh, she was a, a Jehovah's Witness all of her life, but she faded. Uh, she got baptized as a teenager. We grew up together, went to school together. Our dad served as elders together. I've served as an elder with her dad. And uh, she faded out when she was 20. But unfortunately, um, you know, I considered her a sister. She, um, she passed away. And, you know, it was really it was difficult. And now I'm having to do a lot of the things that she did uh, until I get another fellow settled in who's trying to help us with this. He's actually a brother that's kind of faded. He lives in another country. But just a little update on what's going on with jwreasoning.com and my other website that I'm a part of and the fellowship that I'm a part of. And she did both of those websites for us. And uh, boy, it's, it's really difficult when you have to pick up where someone when someone was taking care of a big part of the load. But I just, I wanted to encourage you to keep studying, keep reading your Bibles. I will get back in the groove, I assure you, as long as life allows me to do so, I will be continue to do these videos. I've, there's been some concern about that. I have no plans whatsoever on stopping these. And from time to time, I might do one like this just to give you a little update. But, you know, remember friends, Jesus is the way the truth and the life. One of the reasons that I settle that in a lot from John 14, 6 is because all of our lives, I grew up all of my life calling the organization, calling that the truth. And the organization is not the truth. Jesus is the truth. With, with every truth that the organization, and I use air quotes there, that the organization uses, I can find error in every truth that they teach if you use the Bible to teach it. And I'm not saying that they're they're wrong on certain topics, but along with what they have that might be teaching what the Bible says, they introduce error. And I think I'm going to eventually do a video on that just to show you how this error, there's always truth with error when the devil speaks. You know, he did that in the Garden of Eden. Well, the organization does the same thing. And this might be offensive to some, if that offends you, that's not my intention. But I will pick out a few. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what the topic is. It doesn't matter. There's error that they introduce with every truth that they teach, just like the serpent did in the Garden of Eden. So keep in mind, friends, that Jesus is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I want to uh, thank you for continuing to watch. I really appreciate all of you who make comments. I know, and I, I get emails. Some of them are hate mail, some of them aren't. And that's quite all right. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. I appreciate them all. And I appreciate all of you who, who uh, continue to encourage me on your comments and in your emails. And uh, I just hope that you will continue to read your Bible, that you will continue to study. And my prayer for you is that Jehovah will continue to bless you until we meet again. Thank you.